George Washington Colonials, too offensive. Prospector Pete of Cal State Long Beach, connected to genocide. The Crusader of the College of the Holy Cross, Islamophobic. San Diego State Aztecs, racial harassment. Seriously? Yes, seriously. College students are now pushing for a rebranding of their mascots in order to avoid controversy. Often, this involves students voting on the replacement of their mascot. For example, George Washington University students voted to rid the school of an offensive colonial's image due to its ties to systemic oppression. A suggested replacement for colonials was the George Washington hippos. But wait, aren't those animals not native to America? Isn't that cultural appropriation? Changing a mascot at a university may help a handful of students feel better, but does it truly help the university to do better? The answer is simple, no. Erasing the horrific pages of our nation's history by changing mascots is not progress. In reality, it causes us to forget the obstacles and injustices that we've overcome. We can't change the past, the good or the bad, but the past empowers us to learn from our mistakes and to build a stronger and more prosperous future. So are college mascots really that offensive? I don't think so. I'm Isabel Brown for Prager University.